Do you agree with the move? I do. There was a and is a time and place for pandemic restrictions. But when they were put in, it was always with the understanding that they would be removed as soon as we can. And in this case, circumstances have changed. Case counts are declining. Also, the science has changed. We know that vaccines protect very well against Omicron, which is the dominant variant. Everyone five and older have widespread access to vaccines. And we also know about one way masking, the idea that even if other people are around, you are not wearing masks. If you wear a high quality mask, that also protects you, the wearer, too. And so in this case, I'm not saying, I don't think anyone really is saying that no one should ever wear masks, but rather that the responsibility should shift from a government mandate imposed from the state or the local district of the school. Rather, it should shift to an individual responsibility by the family who can still decide that, that their child can wear a mask if needed. Um, you know, take New Jersey, the case in New Jersey, for instance. Their new case average is just over 4,000. Um, is that an acceptable number to do this, or, or, or are they projecting out to March 7th at this point? I don't think we should be looking at case counts at all at this point, especially when we're dealing with a milder variant and when so many people were exposed to Omicron and therefore have ha have at least some level of protection, either through vaccination or immunity. The key number that we should be looking at is hospitalizations. If our ICUs and hospitals in that particular region are not overwhelmed, if they're not over capacity, we can set a number, for example, 75% or 80% full, then we should be able to relax all restrictions and I actually believe that we should be starting to, with the first restriction removed, should actually be the restriction on children. Because while for adults, you could say, well, what's the harm of adults masking when they go into a grocery store? There actually is a harm that we should be discussing of children continuing to mask. That doesn't mean that masking doesn't have its place for children when there are very high rates of hospitalization. If we get a new variant in the future that children are particularly susceptible to, we may want to bring masks back. But we should also be in a intellectually honest and say that masking has had a cost, especially for the youngest learners, in, uh, people with English as a second language, children with learning disabilities, there has been a cost to them. So the risk benefit calculation has really changed.